Hello, my name is Nate Hess and I'm a park guide with the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. I'm working from home today. I have some pictures up here to the one side, as well as some blankets over here on the other side. I'm sitting here in my living room. And today I would like to talk to you all about something that brings people together, and that is music. When was the last time you listened to music? Listen to your favorite song? Where were you listening to it at? Were you listening to it with anybody else? Music is made up of different notes, melodies, and harmonies, and just like those different pieces come together to make a song, music has an innate ability to bring people together. And on the Lewis and Clark expedition, music absolutely brought individuals together. The men sang songs as they went upriver to help um, them work together and row and sail their boats up the Missouri River. Around the campfire at night, the men listened to music, they sang songs, and they also listened to music made on the fiddle by one of the expedition members, a gentleman by the name of Pierre Cruzat. And Pierre Cruzat used a fiddle, which a fiddle is basically one of these. And this is a modern day violin. This is actually my violin. And a uh, fiddle is basically a modern day violin. Um, a few differences, a few constructional differences, but um, they are very much one and the same. The difference between violin music and fiddle music is basically what's played. It's not necessarily um, some sort of big difference in the instrument itself. And you can see on the violin here, it's got a long wooden body to it. It has a chin rest here in the back. Uh, Pierre Cruzat's fiddle probably wouldn't have had one of these nifty little chin rests. Um, it's got some holes in the middle of the violin here in the shape of the S, an elongated S there. It almost looks like a cursive F, if you will. It has a little bridge right here as well that's made of wood. Most of the violin is made of wood. And then we have a long slender neck on the violin too. It comes to a scroll sort of pattern here at the end and there are some pegs up here as well. There are four different pegs for four different strings that are on the violin. Each of these pegs is connected to a uh, different string on the violin and that is how you tune the violin, get the strings to make the um, exact sound that you want it to make so that all the strings um, can work in harmony with each other. And like I said, there are also four strings on the violin here as well. And each of these strings makes music. And you might be asking yourself, well, how does a violin make music? Well, there are a couple different ways. You can pluck the strings like that, but you can also use something else to make music on a violin or a fiddle. And that is this big long thing, and this is the bow that you use with a violin. Uh, Pierre Cruzat would have had one of these. It likely wouldn't have been quite as big as this. He likely would have had a different style bow for his uh, violin, for his fiddle. And on the bow, there are lots of different horse hairs, horse tail hairs, actually. And by rubbing something sticky on these horse hairs, we use something called rosin. You can actually draw these, this bow across the strings and it'll make a noise just like that. And this is pretty much how Pierre Cruzat would have played his fiddle for the Corps of Discovery, for the men on the Lewis and Clark expedition. He might have even played two strings like this just like that, and that's how he would have made his music. And Pierre Cruzat's fiddle was an important part of the Corps of Discovery. It was an important part on the Lewis and Clark expedition. Not only did Pierre Cruzat's music help bring the men of the Corps of Discovery uh, together as a team by helping them to relax at night and giving them music to listen to together, but Pierre Cruzat also played his fiddle um, when the Corps of Discovery encountered different American Indian tribes on the expedition, and music 
is an innately powerful way to bring groups of people together. Pierre Cruzat knew that. We know that today when we listen to music. Um, when you listen to music with your family, with your friends, that helps all bring family and friends together, just like Pierre Cruzat did on the Lewis and Clark expedition. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've had a fantastic uh, listen about uh, fiddle music on the Lewis and Clark expedition, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now.